Hey guys, welcome back to Gunshots. I have been off for a few weeks. I do apologize, I've not been very well. Um, but I'm back now and out in the uh, spring, almost sunshine at Bowel. Um, and I'm taking a look at the Blazer F3. This is the F3 Pro. If you remember, I, um, I looked at the um, F3 Advantage about a year ago now. Um, but this is actually the first time I've had a chance to shoot the F3 Pro because when I used to have an F3, I had the Super Sport, which has the high adjustable rib. So this was a really interesting one for me to get hold of. Um, let's go through the technical specifications as ever. Um, so, 30 inch tubes on this gun, although this does go, I've seen one, there's actually one on the wall at the minute, at 34 inch. Um, at the time of recording, it won't be there for long, I don't suspect. Um, we've got extended colour coded chokes, um, non ventilated mid rib, uh, ventilated top rib uh, with a, at the moment, a white front breed, although the, the, uh, the gun is supplied with a selection of beads. Um, it also comes in a space kit with weights fore and aft, which I'll show you the mount mounting point in a sec, and um, choke key, um, chokes, blah, 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 the usual stuff, socks, nice and greeny case, the usual bits and bobs. Um, coming back to the fore end, uh, this nice, slim English sporting fore end hides the mounting point for the weight. Um, which just slot under there, give you uh, the opportunity to set the balance fore and aft. Um, the chambers, 3 inch, 18.7 board, uh, ejectors, cock when you open the gun rather than when you close it, which is an interesting experience if you've never shot a, a blazer. And it has a almost a striker fired um, firing pin. It's uh, like a Glock firing pin, but it's cocked when you open the gun, um, which gives you very, very fast lock times and almost no maintenance, I gather. The lockup on this action is achieved with, um, obviously it hinges on these uh, trunnions. We've got a, a lump that protrudes from the bottom of the monoblock when a bite that protrudes from the bottom, from the, uh, the bottom of the action face. And um, that lump actually protrudes through this um, hole in the bottom of the action, giving you that nice strong lockup. Very, very simple, very, very sort of um, elegant design on the F3. I think they're very, very pretty guns. I do really appreciate this kind of design. Um, I think, this is like what would happen if Dieter Rams designed a shotgun. Dieter Rams is a, 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 a quite a famous German designer and um, very, very minimalist, very, very sort of function-oriented design. And I think this is an excellent example of, of, of kind of really sort of German design ethos. Coming back to the trigger, um, adjustable mechanical unit um, with the trigger selector just in front of the trigger um, instead of being back up here where the safety is. Safety is very simple on off. Uh, obviously, top leader there. The um, grip is a pistol grip with a nice uh, palm swell. Beautiful bit of ergonomic design, this. Again, all the checkering is laser cut on this and uh, very well executed. And it just feels lovely in the hand. Nice sporting stock um, and a recoil pad with a plastic insert that stops it from snagging on your vest. Overall impressions. Um, the gun is a little flat for me if I mount this the way I mount my gun. Um, it's a little bit flat, so I'm having to sort of mount it quite soft. Um, I would, if I, if I was going to get one of these, get the um, uh, adjustable stock, but um, it is a lovely gun to shoot. It's um, eight and three quarter pounds or thereabouts. It's a little bit more sprightly than my gun, but actually it handles really, really nicely. Very easy to drive around um, and very, very um, pleasant to shoot in general. Problems? Ugh. None really. Um, oh, actually one. This pad, when I had mine, uh, mine was relatively new, I didn't have any issues with it, but this gun's obviously been used and had a bit more um, uh, time spent with it, and the pad which has gotten soft um, has left a sort of a hard bit at the top. Now this hard bit is actually transmitting a lot more recoil through um, than I think you would normally feel, because the rest of it's a bit softer than it used to be, and as a result it actually hurts a little bit um, in extended shooting sessions. I think if this were my gun, I'd be changing this pad out. Um, I think other than that, no problems with it. To me though, this is just really indicative of the kind of, as I said, the German attention to detail. There are no sharp edges on a blazer. The, um, you'll never cut yourself. Everything is machined beautifully. If you look closely at the gun, you know, every, every cut and radius on this thing and every sort of machine drilled hole, everything is perfect. The, um, the attention to detail is fantastic. The rib um, has no center tram line, but if you look at the checkering, um, the size of the checkering down the centre of the rib is actually slightly different, which sort of indicates a, a, a tram line, even though there isn't one there, and draws the eye nicely up the centre of the rib. You know, there, there are tons of tiny details like that on a blazer, which just really is a lovely thing to shoot and to hold. Um, very, very nice. Big fan. I think secondhand, they are a cracking buy at this uh, price range. Um, I don't actually know what this is on the wall for, but um, they are normally sort of three to four grand for a well-cared-for one. 
and this one is a, is, a, is, a, is a nice one. Just, I think they are lovely, lovely guns, and I can't really point any fingers at them for, uh, for problems. I, I've enjoyed shooting it. Um, lovely. Right, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, do please subscribe, follow me on Instagram, it's at Lloydy P. Um, as ever, please also go take a look at the Bio website where this gun and many others like us are available. All right, see you next time, guys.